your time. In a dream untrue From afar I felt your breath like the wind that blew All night long And your words rang through Like a gospel song Never really had a feeling how it all went Another one off of the CD. This is uh, called A Brighter Day.
the kitchen I hear them buzzing I ain't done nothing since I woke up today not far away in Clay County. Uh, it was a few years past high school, maybe a year or so of college and a summer back in uh, the hometown of Clay Center. And a couple of friends went on a train trip and they went clear up into the Northwest and they kind of, well, they were doing lots of partying and they got themselves into a little spot of trouble on the train and they, uh, they made a friend there who helped them out and this friend was an attorney. Well, actually, he was not an attorney, but he was uh, he was going to law school. Well, at least he said he was going to law school. And he was the son of Senator um, Charles Percy from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Now, uh, John Percy, as we knew him, uh, he he was really enjoying the notoriety of being a famous person in a small town getting lots of free drinks and lots of free other party materials and what have you and he was just really enjoying it and the stories that we heard just were enticing uh there's going to be a big party at the senator's place in chicago and we were all invited because we were good country folk and treated him so well and then he decided that if we were such good country folk and treat him so well and I think that he might have been getting fairly drunk by all the good treatment he'd been getting that he said that the senator was going to send his personal aircraft to Clay County to pick us up and go to the party in Chicago and about that time a few of us said you know maybe we ought to check this guy's credentials and so my friend Bill who had brought this feller into our environment made a call to Senator Percy's office. You know, and back in those days, there was no internet web to, you know, to find things out on. So he had, to, I don't know how he came up with the phone number. He must have called the congressional office or something. But anyway, so he got a hold of him. Turns out that Charles Percy, there was indeed a Senator Charles Percy, and he did indeed have a son, but that son was in Chicago with him, and his name was not John. And we never did really find out what this dude's name was, but they sent him, they dropped him off at the bus station the next day, and that was pretty much the last we ever heard of him, old John Percy. And so this is the J. Percy Blues. And it's on the CD, which is available right here. I have several copies right down here. Good things I gotta 
might come to an end. Back home to try to live it down. 